Hey, what's up, guys? I've got a cool, quick little unboxing here for you. This is um, an unboxing for Silent Hill, the collector's edition from uh, Screen Factory, Shop Factory. Um, I pre-ordered this right when they announced it back in um, April, I think. Or was it March? March or April. Um, because I don't care what anyone says. I'm a fan of this film. I think it's a pretty cool film. The atmosphere is absolutely on point for the video games. Um, the acting might not be whatever in the story. I mean, if we're being honest, the story Silent Hill has a very muddled story to begin with, so I thought that was pretty accurate in, in regards to that. I love this artwork, too. Um, it's got the nurse, the crazy uh, evil nurses, and then the pyramid head in the front here with the freaking skin person in the background, and there's the Silent Hill sign. And I think that's the original text they had, too. It's just so cool. I think this is great. And this is um, artwork by... What does it say? Oh yeah, Devin Whitehead. I feel like it's just him and some other guy that have been doing the artwork for this. But um, anyway, I'm going to open this up. I got a poster too, as you can see here. I'll open that up at the end here. <coughs> Excuse me. But uh, yeah, I haven't, I haven't watched this film in a while. I had a um, steel book that I got from Zabby a long time ago that I ended up selling recently. Once I ordered pre this one, I sold that one because I, I believe that was Region B and the uh, Picture quality was just, you know, average. It was normal. Not that it's a big deal, but uh, this is supposed to have a... I think, actually, is it? Let me be sure. It actually does not say that it's updated, so maybe it'd be the exact same picture, so, which I guess is fine then. It does have a bunch more special features. Actually, let's do that quickly first. So, yeah, disc one is the film, I assume, and it's got a new audio commentary, which is nice, and the trailer, but it doesn't say anything about a 2K or 4K restoration, so I'm assuming it's the same transfer from before, which was um, TriStar. It's not Sony or anything, right? I think it's just TriStar. Um, <clears throat> I don't recall what the picture quality was like before. I think it was fine. It would have been nice to get a new transfer, but I guess um, they didn't get the rights to do it, or for whatever reason they didn't get it overseen by whoever needs to. Or it was good enough that he didn't need one. But Because um, what well, was on Blu-ray already, obviously. Um, so just one, it has a new audio commentary from the DP, uh, Dan Lawson, and the theater trailer. Disc 2 is where all the goodies are. Uh, a new From Silent Hill with Love interview with director Christoph Gans, which is cool. A uh, new Monster Man interview with special effects artist Paul Jones. A tale of two Jodels, an interview with actress Jodel Ferland. And then Dance of the Pyramid, interview with actor Roberto, what's that say, Campanella. And then Path of Dark's Make Cell. This is probably the original um, feature that they had on the other releases. A six-part look at the making of the film. Which is still cool to have. <clears throat> There's a synopsis if you want to read it. It's um, a woman searching for her daughter in Silent Hill who goes missing. It's that that's that same storyline. It's basically in like three of the film of uh, the films, the, the, the video games. So it's pretty similar. There was supposed to be a Silent Hills game. I think it was called Silent Hills. Um probably releasing pretty, like, like, should have been released by now, from Guillermo del Toro, and as starring, um, uh, what's his name, Daryl Dixon from Walking Dead, uh, <coughs> excuse me, Norman Reedus, um, but that got canceled because of Konami's just a bunch of dick shits, I have, I still don't understand what their deal is for, with this, I think because Hideo Kojima, Kojima wanted to do it, I don't know, this feels like a nicer case, I don't understand how they do the Blu-ray case is sometimes from these, from Screen Factory and, and others, I guess. They're not always like, the, best, the best quality. Sometimes they're Eagle cases. This doesn't feel like an Eagle case to me. And I guess we'll see in a second here. Come on. This stupid thing. Okay. <clears throat> yep. There's special features disc there. I think that's the typical. That was the Blu-ray um, uh, disc I had looked like that. And here is the movie picture of the pyramid head and uh, the nurses again. Let's change this out to have the original theatrical poster. Yeah, I like that. That's kind of what my steelbook looked like, I think. And I think that's the original poster, too. Really like that image with the Silent Hill sign and her standing there. We've been expecting you. Like I said, I love I I really enjoy this film. It's, the atmosphere is just great. I thought this, if, if there's anything that they that this movie got down 100% correctly, I thought the atmosphere was right. 
for the um uh the the, the games. But to, and the music too, I believe it was the exact same score or the same artist anyway. Or um uh, I think so anyway. Does it say on here? Music by Jeff Dana. Dana, I think. I could have sworn I read that. Maybe I'm wrong, but uh, either way, that, that's still, even if it wasn't exactly the same, the score on here is very good, too. Um, so, yeah. And this is not eco cases, right? No. So, I don't know. I understand it. How come sometimes we get shitty cases and sometimes we get good ones? This one sticks pretty good, too. Look at this. Damn. So, that's pretty cool. I like that. <clears throat> Very loose. That's common, though, I've noticed. Very loose grip on the um, case, but that's fine. And let's go over the um, um, poster, too, quickly. <coughs> this is one of the main draws for this, too, besides the new features and stuff, with the fact this artwork is really cool, so I wanted to get this poster. Let's see here. And, of course, ever since they started doing this with these nicer, thick um, poster cases or whatever, and with the, with the covers on the ends, and actually holding, having these... Um, holders so they don't uh, fall apart and stuff. I really have liked these. Been, I don't think I've had a crumpled one or a stomp one since they started doing that. Look at that. Can't get it all on the frame here, of course, because it's going to pull up. But I'm definitely going to um, put that in the poster. Put it up somewhere. This pyramid head. And there's some nurse, great zombie nurse cleavage. And some cultists and... Yeah, it's been a while since I watched this, so I'm definitely looking forward to that. And I also, like I said, I'm not mentioned before, but I love this. That they actually have a picture on here. I wish they were doing this a long time ago. Like I showed you before, I, have, I actually had to ghetto write my name or write what was on there on the, the case, but this is even better. Um, actually, let's just do that. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, <clears throat> I'm actually gonna try to watch this pretty soon here. Because, like I said, I haven't watched it in quite a while. It's probably been years since I actually sat down to watch this film. Let's check out these special features, too. So, yeah. Actually, stars, is it Naomi Watts? Not Naomi Watts. It's uh, Rhonda Mitchell. For whatever reason, I get those two confused. Laurie Holden's in here. Speaking of Walking Dead, she's in that. Uh, Sean Bean, because he's in everything. Um, Kim Coates is in it, too. That's right. Deborah Kerr Unger. Alex Krieg. Hmm. A lot of cool people. This is from 2000. Five? Six, yeah. Very cool. Oh, shit. I can stay. Well, whatever. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. I have, um... <coughs> Excuse me. God, I'm still beating the stupid fucking spring summer cough. I have a lot of, um... Shout Factory, Skin Factory stuff coming this summer and into the fall because I just went ham on all the stuff that's coming out. Steelbooks, um... Silent Hill releases like this. The Blob is coming out in, in October, I think. That's going to be a while, obviously. But that's that was awesome news with some new features and stuff. And I think a new transfer, so that's always great news. Lots of cool stuff coming on the horror genre. And uh, other stuff, too. Of course, steelbooks and whatnot. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you again for other unboxings and whatnot um, in the future. So thanks for watching, and bye.